Let's solve the Advent of Code 2021 Day 11 puzzle using Ivy. This is a game of life-like puzzle where each step first increments the board values, and then any board value that's above nine flashes, which causes its neighbors to increment, which may cause more cascading flashes, and once they all stop, all the flash cells change to zeros, and that's a single step. So let's start by computing the neighbors of a particular square. Here's a simple test board. Okay, and we can find the vertical neighbors by shifting the rows up and down. All right, that looks right. And then we can find the horizontal neighbors by doing the same thing in the transpose. All right, so that looks good. And that two in the middle where two different ones overlapped is right because we want to add two to a square that's near two different flashes. And then using the tiny example here, um, we can compute what the expected flashes are for that first board. And we do get the expected eight flashes in the middle. So now we can define the result of a single flash. We'll say f flash x, where f is the flashes that have happened already, and x is the current state of the board. First thing we have to do is find anything that's yet to flash that needs to. If there aren't any of those, then we're done and we'll return the board. But we want to turn off the ones that flashed. We'll mark them to zero, so we can do that. And otherwise, we'll do a tail recursive loop where we record the flashes, apply the flash to the new board. Oops, that's not right. Near next. All right. So we can watch a single step by passing in a board with no flashes. And that is the right single step for Tiny. All right, so let's save that. And we should be able to do two steps. That matches as well. All right. So now we're supposed to run n steps and count the number of flashes starting with a given board. So we'll say to do n flashes on board x. If n is 0, there's nothing. Um, otherwise, we'll compute the next board. And then we'll say the number of flashes plus the number of flashes for the next n minus 1 steps. All right, so we say how many flashes are there in the sample? 1656. Let's see. Yep, 1656. And how many flashes are in the input in 100 steps? 1655. That's kind of a coincidence. But that's right. All right. On to part two. Now in part two, we're supposed to run the steps as far as we can until every single square flashes at the same time and ask how long did that take? So we can write a new function, sync of x. It starts by stepping x. And then if every single element in the board flashed, then that took one step. Otherwise, it's gonna take one plus the time it takes to sync starting at the next board. Let's say sync sample is 195, that's right. Sync input, 337. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.